This morning, the family of an innocent woman was killed by police, who was killed by police, plans to announce a lawsuit. Video of the hostage incident that led to her death was released yesterday. Cara Finstrom is live in Van Nuys this morning at the Homeless Outreach Center where this all went down. Cara? Sharon, the 19-year-old daughter of the woman killed, is expected to speak at that news conference later today. Her mother was shot just behind us. This is the uh, Homeless Outreach Center. It's part of a church. Early this morning, lawyers for the family released pictures of Elizabeth Tollison. She was 49 and disabled. The family contends officers were negligent last month when they used deadly force. The LAPD says their officers were responding to a 911 report of a stabbing. Here's part of the body cam video. Drop the knife! Eric, put the knife down! In the edited video, the suspect, Guillermo Perez, who was also later shot and killed, has a knife and refuses to put it down. He first blocks beanbag projectiles with a folding metal chair, then grabs Tollison, who just happened to be standing nearby. Police say when Perez pressed the knife to her throat, three officers opened fire, releasing 18 rounds. Yesterday, Police Chief Michael Moore said a full investigation is underway into whether each round was appropriate. Tragically, the woman was also struck twice by gunfire, and she later died at a hospital. She either froze or, or was unable to move. Two weeks ago, another innocent bystander was killed by a police bullet. A young manager at a Trader Joe's died during a tense standoff. LAPD officials say they're now examining ways to improve the effectiveness of less than lethal tools like tasers and beanbag shotguns. They're also taking a closer look at training procedures. And back here live, that news conference is set for about 11 o'clock this morning.